Things are looking pretty good so far, though. Done a lot of damage. It did just bring its orbs back. I didn't know I was allowed to do that. Hey, and there's that fire that's annoying me to no end. Look at all this fun stuff we still need to buy. I think we better add holy guacamole, find more altar rooms, because as it turns out, those can help you find gold. And then probably increased range damage for 38,000. Not very cheap. This could actually be a pretty good run, being that I'm starting with two keys, and I think this drops me plenty of useful items. Now that I think about it, I'm probably going to have to deal with the bosses again. So we'll try and make the most of this as a gold run, but we'll see. And wouldn't you know it, deal more throw damage. So now we're doing 64 throw damage. Before, we were doing 58 with a bunch of upgrades. For Shrine Room already, we do not have a gold upgrade. But interestingly enough, there is a Shrine Room right beside us again. Never seen that before. Hopefully this one has a gold upgrade. And it doesn't. We'll take a bounce or a pickaxe though from this one, then we'll upgrade something at the other one. Receive more damage kind of hurts, especially considering there's a boss coming up. Who actually would take that away? Remove a curse? 50 health, that's easy. First relic, chance on hit to chain lightning. Not the worst, not the best. Is it worth it to go for this? I'm feeling lucky, so let's do it. Easy enough puzzle to solve. Give me something good. Uh, I don't really think that's good. And the curse we got from that, lose more gold on death, so absolutely the one we didn't want. Since I'm feeling lucky and I happen to be looking at the map, I think there's probably a secret room right here that's just really hard to access. Now I'm second guessing myself and just don't care that much. I'm probably going to need my bombs for the next floor anyways. Nothing good at this door, no relics. Let's hope to get a potion we could actually use for something. Found when it's decent enough, if I use this, it's going to drop those. Then I use the duplicating items room potion, and then we're going to duplicate those things. Easy. Gain temporary damage and picking up gold. That's not a bad one because I should be picking up a lot. We're going to go ahead and sacrifice another 75 health to remove that curse, because that's very counterproductive to gold finding. Since the gold one really doesn't want to come out and play, we'll just take critical strike for now, because I might need that. And we got another curse room right beside us that also has no gold boost. So I'll take increased throw speed for one curse. Healing is less effective. Increase the cost of items at the shop. Demon ring, increase swing damage. Not really great, because I don't physically swing my pickaxe a lot, but it'll work. Turns out that my bombs do a lot of damage. I got hit by one of them, and it did that much health. That much damage. But also at the shop, a really good relic to find, the duplicator. That basically means I get to pick any time I find one, so I'm going to have way more options. We're going to find old gross food and chests, because I need healing. And then I don't even have enough gold left to buy food. Thanks to this relic on floor 4, we're really going to throw fast, which means a lot of damage going out. Did I find the dog again down here? Is this the same dog? Shadow like that, it's a different dog. Alright Shadow, what am I supposed to do with this room? I'm assuming either light this on fire or blow it up, and since I have no means of creating fire, we're going to blow it up. Looks like I was wrong. There's a new man in a pink suit, and I think we'll rescue him, because you never know. Do you have anything I might want? Because if not, there's no point in me rescuing you. Hello, have you spoken with my crew? Thank you for releasing me. Would not have last. Return we'll to the surface. The wizard owes me for all that I've done for him. Yeah, tell me about it. Rare blueprint. Hungry ghost. Crafted at the blacksmith. A hungry ghost. Oh, these skeletons tell me stuff. I don't want your story. I just want the crap that's sitting in your bones. Here we found the adventurer's hat. That's halfway to 10,000 gold, plus just the extra rooms. Still haven't found a single altar that boosts gold production. Makes me wonder if they're maybe not even in the game anymore, because I was finding them everywhere for a while and that was like the 10th altar I found. Well, at least on this floor we have a pill for in a bottle. We can't even afford it yet because we're actually having a very bad gold run, but I do have the gold in a bottle thing, so we're going to use that to get money for it. And then we're going to release that other idiot. Hopefully this gives me a lot more than this. This isn't very much so far. Well, it gave me 1,672. That's just enough to buy this, and I'm going to do it. Then I think this room is going to be perfect for it because it's not super big and I should be able to corner it. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's dropping a big gold now. The extra throw speed definitely helps. It does have health in the bottom right. There we go, I killed it. I actually got one dead. Perfect. Interesting to note though, it cost me 1650. Normally it would cost 1500. I made 1250 back. So in gold value, it's not really worth it. But I did get this relic. And it might give you bigger, better gold on lower floors. I'm not really sure. I'm getting the float boots because I'm falling into too many holes this morning because I'm too tired. We got another pilferer on just the next floor, so let's see if we can uh, actually kill it again. Probably gonna sacrifice. Never mind, it got away really quick. I didn't notice it quick enough. They kind of blend in sometimes. Finally, I found myself a gold boost item. Gold does sometimes duplicate itself. That thing's worth its money all day long. Then I'm pretty much gonna have to buy everything else here, health and bombs, because I'm playing very poorly. But at least from this point forward, we'll be finding extra gold, and that's very important. And I now get healing every time I find a new room. Finally, on Dungeon 3, increase gold income. Yeah, I'll take that. But we'll another curse, reduce maximum health. We're going to be very brittle by the end of this, but we'll do it. No gold at this one. Do I want another curse or whatever's in his chest? Probably. What do we get now? Now the shop stuff is just even more expensive, but I think that'll be okay. 
We even found the secret shop, but they don't really have anything to offer. Everything is pretty expensive. We'll take a bit of healing, maybe a bomb and a key, but that's it. I do actually need to start saving some gold at some point on this run. The shop has been really, really, really weak today. There's been very little from it. Enemies that get hit with their thrown pickaxe now might take more damage. So anything I hit is now taking extra, extra damage. Two more shrine rooms, neither of which that add any source of gold. Another pilferer. I've got to actually try and kill this one. Luckily, my little bird thing's level three, so I can actually pick up a lot of the gold along the way. It's very hard to hit this thing. Come on, a couple more hits. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, because I got the fist at the end. That means I did it, which of course increases throw speed. I'm not sure if I can even get any faster, but that's how fast it is. Finally got the map. Reveal secret rooms as I have like three floors left. This floor is going to have three shrine rooms all in a row, one of which is a secret room, but I've never seen that before. I'm sure none of them will have any gold boosting. Definitely going to be taking a sewing kit because I don't want to lose any gold when I die. It's already a poor run as it is, and we'll just buy some other crap. Finally, another wealth increase. Can we get one more? We'll see. I get a tempting fate achievement probably because of all these curses I have. And no gold increase. At least we have one of three on this floor. I keep forgetting I can't fall in holes, but that's probably just a good habit to keep. And a fourth curse room. Wow, that's got to be a record. And no doubt it doesn't have anything to help me. So I'll take an extra bounce here because might as well just load up on curses. I'm actually going to hit the transmute one more time because I want to see if I can get some bombs. Even this will work. Bit of a gamble for 1248 gold, but you know, mostly because I wanted to mess with this room. We can use this, two keys. Now we don't have enough. Oh, actually I can walk across things. I didn't need to do that. I keep forgetting that. And we got some decent gold out of that. Wow. Okay, I feel better now. Still nothing really good at the shop. So let's transmute and see what we can get. Any kind of relics? Actually, this one is pretty good according to the comments. Yeah, I do read those once in a while. Now I can cook food, light stuff on fire, all sorts of stuff. All right, it's only two curses for either one of these. A uh, higher chance to critical strike or resurrection. Probably the higher chance to critical strike because the resurrection doesn't bring you back with much health anyway. And the king's crown increased swing damage, throw size, and throw speed. So we're doing even more speed and damage. This extra cost of things is kind of killing me. Items will sometimes duplicate themselves. Normally that'd be a good find, but since I'm basically at the end anyways, I'm not going to bother with that. I transmute it once, duplicate all gold in the room. I'll take that one all day long. Plus I'll take the increased attack damage and speed when killing enemies because I'm getting a pretty good boost from the health one. Is three keys worth it? Probably. We'll just take all the stupid risks on this one. Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Lots of gold, lots of lots of things. Is this one worth it right now? 120 health is huge, but enemies drop gold when killed. There's only one floor left, so this is a terrible choice. The only kind I make. Extra gold income. Why not? What's another curse at this point? It is stacking up these now. No gold one to be had here, but since I'm basically at the end anyway, let's just do more throw damage. That really doesn't add a lot. That put me from 68 up to 70. You know, for a run that I was aiming for strictly gold, I did a pretty bad job of getting gold, but a pretty good job of getting overpowered again. Look at all my power-ups. Though if I had have actually been focusing on finding items, I would be even more powerful right now. So I just kind of misclicked and just sacrificed a whole bunch of health for I don't know what. Some kind of uh, something. We're going to get the stupid boots that break spikes. And one final shrine because of course there is. Anything good? Mm, maybe let's not do any more because we're basically going to go fight the final boss anyway. I have no idea how this is going to go. I have a lot of power-ups but a lot of curses all at the same time. But I do do a lot of damage, especially with my pickaxe throwing. So as long as I avoid getting hit and keep hitting them, I think I can actually do pretty well at this. So far, it's going pretty good. It feels kind of like the last time those leg spikes are kind of annoying. As long as I don't get pushed into a corner and keep paying attention to where the hands are coming out, I'll be okay. The boss definitely is still very tough considering like how much damage I'm doing and all the crits and everything. But I haven't been hit yet, so I must be getting good at how this works. I just got hit by the two pink things that come floating by every once in a while, and they do a lot of damage. They took like a third of my health instantly. Had to relight the torches. I'm not sure if I can't let these touch me. That would be very bad. You get them to do a U-turn, and they can't really handle the corner. All right, he's almost dead. There we go. I accidentally got so powerful that I won. And we got all this gold now, so I'm also going to double that. Wait, this one. Here we go. Don't pick those up too quick, stupid bird. Better. All right, well, that should make up for some of the gold I lost for sure because it was a very bad run. Yeah, look at that number going up and up. I've never had this much in a single run. We're going to have over 80,000 by the time we're done. I was hoping for 100, but an accidental amazing gold run. This guy again. Can I have more levels? I'm able to do these ones pretty easily now, so we need better ones. I wonder what would happen there if I quit instead and just reloaded back in. 
we now have another dog, plus this pink guy, who doesn't seem to be doing anything yet. I'm happy to have rescued you, but could you do something here? Well, since I have 80,000 gold to spend, I might as well start buying things that are going to be useful. Like the diamond gossamer jacket. Is that the final one? There's another one for 60,000. That's going to be hard to buy. Uh, we'll buy the better gold upgrade. That's not really necessary. I usually find this sewing needle anyways. Next one's going to be expensive. And then we'll buy the ruined axe. This time we're going to go all in on a bunch of things. Increase throw attack size? Absolutely. And here's that new one I found, the hungry ghost. Leech the life of your enemies. I kind of like the sound of that. Because if I can take health from them, that's healing all the way through the dungeon. And that means I could probably take a lot of curses along the way without worrying about it. Well, let's jump in with 12,000 gold to the hardest dungeon yet. I'm just going to go all out getting every curse I find along the way. We're just going to have a really stupid run and see how that works out. Because it worked out good last time. My pickaxe feels so slow right now. I hate it so much. I want my upgrades back. Right away, our first opportunity for a curse. And I'm absolutely going to take it while also destroying him. Okay, give me whatever's in there. Give me the curse. And that's not bad. I'll take that stuff. Our first relic we find, of course, is a keyblade. Extra damage for each key I have. I don't really do a lot of swing damage. I don't often carry a lot of keys. But there's an extra six damage. Why not? And it seems now I get one health back for every enemy I kill. Which doesn't sound like a lot. But I'm going to kill, you know, hundreds of enemies over the course of this. So that's hundreds of free health. First chance at a shrine. What do we got? Uh, we're gonna go with increased chance to critical strike. This secret room had a random fist in it. Increased throw speed. Okay, that's one of the ones I definitely want. As long as my pickaxe is fast and bounces, I'm able to kill anything very easily. And then rooms like this with all the rats give me so much healing because I kill a million of them that it's gonna make things easy. And we're sustaining ourselves on gold now. This is actually pretty helpful. Every bit of gold I find gives me a bit more healing. I'm gonna have a lot of stupid curses by the end of this, so I'm gonna need all the health to balance that out. Hopefully we get some very lucky finds at the store today. So far, nothing really that I want. I'll just take the bombs and be on my way. Again, like always, not having the luck I wanted, but we'll still make this work. I just need a few of those shrines. I'll be way overpowered. Sonic Boom, throw really fast. I absolutely like that one. Now all I really need is a few of the ricochet ones and I'll be able to do whatever I want. Not the ricochet one I wanted, but I'll take extra throw damage, maybe even throw speed. Probably throw speed. The damage only goes up so very little. And I'm not even completely sure I can do more uh, throw speed at this point anyway, but I'm going to go for it. And since I had a bomb doubling potion, I've doubled mine to 16 and I'm going to use that to find some secret rooms on this floor because the more powerful you are on the higher floor, the more overpowered to be on the lower ones. Oh look, purple things I don't want. Well, I found another curse chest in this room, so yeah, we'll go ahead and take one of those. That's gonna give us a whole bunch of bombs and bond larvae. I don't really care about that. Nothing again at the shop, getting pretty unlucky in that regard. This is a good find. Enemies drop gold when killed, and we're still on a pretty low floor. A few more uh, good gold boosty items and we'll be rolling. There was also not one shrine on this floor, which is odd. The last one I definitely found a ton, but I did have the boost for it. But I'm usually finding one per floor. Without my ricochet thing, I'm not super confident about fighting the boss, which is going to be crazy powerful right now. So we're going to go for it anyway. I do have a potion that can restore all missing health. It would kind of be a shame to use it on this boss of all of them, but I want the gold from this. I'm just hoping I do enough damage that I can actually hurt this thing. So far, that's not too bad. As long as I'm paying attention, I'll be alright. And that's a pretty big ask right now. So far, so good. Uh, it's not doing a lot of damage to me yet, but I know a few hits and it certainly could. See, with the ricochet in this boss, it would be really easy because it's mostly those little larvae that are going to be annoying and you'd be ricocheting and hitting them no matter what you do. So that would be way easy. And the boss is done. Uh, it only hit me about twice, but it did that much damage. So that could have gone very bad very fast. Now I have all this gold to work with and I'm going to let my stupid bird pick it all up because it needs the experience. It's not even really a ton of gold you get from killing this boss, but I'll take it. Really gonna need more of those shrines moving forward, especially the ricochet. Without the ricochet, I don't think I'm even gonna try and fight the next boss. Finally, a shrine that, of course, doesn't have my ricochet, so I'll just take more throw damage for the time being. No relics, but lots of keys. I'll take some keys. And another bomb doubling potion. Why not? Who doesn't want 42 bombs? Now I can use bombs blowing up random things. That will help me find secret rooms both under the statues and in the walls. And a bomb upgrade. Death at 45 degrees. I need to remember which way these go because I forget sometimes and blow myself up. I'm also going to destroy that because I think that gives me a item and a curse. Gotta remember to keep my eyes on increased throw speed. Mm, looks like I probably can still increase speed. It goes quick. The curse for that, enemies release spiders on death. That could actually be helpful to me if they drop golden health. Another shrine. Still nothing that I really want, so we'll take increased critical strike. We have ourselves a chance to overstock this shop. Absolutely. Give me more stuff. And I am going to transmute because we have a relic and I want a better relic. That one's pretty good, actually. We can do damage while picking up gold. That's going to make the floors even easier. Believe it or not, we got ourselves another fist. Increase throw speed for the fourth time. So... 
Yeah, I'm not sure if it's actually getting faster or not at this point. It's plenty fast. I just really, really need that ricochet. Well, it looks like we're getting a random one for this. Fine by me. We got another fist. I don't know if these are just even doing anything at this point. I kind of want better ones. And my curse now is droplets of fire fall from the sky. So that's going to be hugely annoying. Can't wait to see what effect that has down the road. But we're going to keep going with the curses. Sometimes drop meat from your enemies. That's perfect. Killing a lot of enemies. That's extra, extra healing. We'll take another curse because why not? An extra gold. That's one we do want. At the price of doubling all costs, apparently. So that might not be worth it in the end. Ow. Should we get ourselves another curse? Still no ricochet. We could get extra gold. I can't even sit here for very long because a droplet of fire might hit me. I think I'm actually going to sacrifice 100 health to try and get rid of that. Really hope I get that one gone. Nope. It was worth a try. This is a very dangerous room. Look at all the bombs. Luckily, I made it look easy thanks to blind luck. I think if I pick this up, that means we get the super bomb. Yep, they smash together and now we get super danger. Not really anything good at this shop, except for some now very expensive items. So I'm going to use the transmute to hopefully get a better relic there. That might actually be a good one. Ricochet thrown pickaxe. That's basically the one I've wanted all along. So perfect. That's going to help me in a big way. And I'm going to sacrifice 2100 gold to try and remove a curse. Not the one I wanted, but uh, that's fine. I have my ricochet now anyway, as I land on fire. So if I find even one more of these ricochets along the way, then we'll make everything pretty easy. Hey, look, a curse removal. Do we get rid of the fire sky thing? Nope. The shop is just not my friend today. I guess I probably shouldn't complain considering I've got 38 bombs and 21 keys currently, so that should keep me well stocked moving forward. Another curse removal? It's still the wrong one. Ow. On the adventurer's hat, that means more secret rooms, which I haven't been finding very many of at all, so great. One final shrine before we fight boss number two. We're gonna take some extra gold for an extra curse. Would really like to get rid of Rain of Fire, but it doesn't want to go anywhere. That's going to make this boss particularly difficult. But as long as I let my ricochet thing do most of the work, I think we'll be alright. We do a lot of damage no matter what we're hitting, so we'll be alright. Things are looking pretty good so far though. Done a lot of damage. It did just bring its orbs back. I didn't know I was allowed to do that. Hey, and there's that fire that's annoying me to no end. Sometimes things look worse than they are though, and I tend to panic about it. Like when I'm on fire, I think I'm taking a whole bunch of damage when I'm really not. That wasn't so bad. And a nice little explosion plus healing, I think. You really do find all the gold on the lowest dungeon. These upper ones aren't really good. They're good for getting the power-ups and increasing your gold finding abilities. Hey, look at that. We have all three doubling items. I only really want the gold one. Everything else, I already have lots of. Maybe I do want them all. Yeah, let's just take them all and go overpowered. That does set us up pretty nicely, though. We're going to find a lot of gold now. If I'm really lucky, I'll find more of these chests because I've got some keys to burn and these always drop me a lot of stuff. Another shrine room, so let's hope it gives us something. No ricochet. What is this though? Increase though attack size. That's kind of a new one. Let's just sacrifice some health to hopefully give it a fire droplets. It worked! Alright, that was my biggest annoyance in life. Now I feel good. Higher critical damage. Perfect. The shop really, really doesn't want to be my friend. I mean, I'll keep taking bombs and keep all my gold when I die, but I've got very little gold as it is. Still no ricochet. I mean, I already have one, but I wanted like eight of those. That would have been a lot of fun. We'll just increase gold income for the last two floors and hopefully that makes a difference. Here's the relic I wanted right from the beginning. Duplicator. Well, here's an interesting twist. Gold bombs. Now I'm just going to get as many bombs as I can. That way when I defeat the final boss, if I defeat him, we'll have 36 gold bombs to let go. And just before the final boss, we have a room like this. Won't complain with that. That's a lot of gold. This is another one of those powers I would have liked from the beginning. Holy guacamole. That's what I had last time. I think I'm going to use transmute once to see if we can get something that'll be useful for the boss. Chance on hit to ignite your enemies might be good. A shield of rocks. Projectiles. Higher chance to critical hit I'll take. I don't think I could really ignite the final boss anyway. And that's really the only thing I have left. So maybe just one more transmute. I don't know if I should have sacrificed that health or not. That might be a bad idea in hindsight. All right, since none of those relics are actually going to be any help to me, let's just go jump into the final boss. I have two potions that can heal me. Let's we'll see if we can do this again. Why is the final boss not here? He's normally here. He's not. I guess you need to defeat all the bosses for them to all respawn. Well, that's kind of anticlimactic. I guess we'll just drop our gold bombs for now and see how much we get. We're starting at 24,000. We are seeming to drop it faster than the little bird can pick it up, so that's a good sign. It makes for a nice visual. Room is pretty full of gold at this point. And I'm out of bombs, but I do have this. Swap my items around, so if I use this... Now we have 24 bombs left. I thought there'd be more gold letting off that many bombs. That was, I think, 60-something gold bombs with duplicating gold. It looks very cool and everything. But I'm really only up to 50, might be 60,000 by the time we're done this. 60,716 gold. Hey dummy, do you think we could have this one work this time? 